Hey guys, uh, welcome back to now the last game in this nine game series between Bishop and Fengji. This is from the Korea China Invitational League. I hope you guys have been enjoying. Uh, I actually really enjoy matches like this. You really get to see a full range out of players. You give them a lot of opportunities. Uh, it's not something shameful for an older uh, Chinese Zerg player like Fengji to fall to Bishop, who's one of the strongest up-and-coming Terrans in Korea right now, someone who's been in ASL. Uh, Bishop's been playing out of his mind, but Fengji has put on some great games. I still have my fingers crossed he's going to be able to take this map and get a point on the board there. Uh, that would feel really good, I think, <laughs> to end the series. But hope you guys have been enjoying. Um, you know, I think that this is... Yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And thanks for watching uh, Artosis Cast. Big appreciation to anyone who has supported on the Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash artosis. You can check that out if you want. And of course, subscribing to my YouTube channel uh, is greatly appreciated as well. Uh, you know, put a lot of work into the channel. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Hope to just always keep this going so that we just always have fresh pro brood war games to watch. All right. <clears throat> so, what shall we be seeing? I don't think we're going to see Wraith again. I think you're wall in tightly. This should just be a barracks expansion build uh, from Bishop. Going to go ahead and scout Fengji. Going for hatch first, of course. It's probably not smart to try anything like a quick pull against Bishop at this point. Now, uh... I, I wonder, maybe you want to mix it up a little bit. Instead of going for Spire, maybe if you get rid of the SCV at a reasonable pace, you could go for like a Lurker, a Lurker all-in, something like that. I I feel like in a nine-game series, throwing in one Lurker all-in is is a good move. I don't think you should use it too, too much. It's uh, it's definitely not that strong. Uh, But if you catch them off guard, it gives you like a very quick, very easy win. But, you know, if Fengji wants to play honorably and <laughs> just go into a normal game, I can appreciate that as well. We have that command center coming up immediately here for Bishop. Second depot on the way. And the one thing we should mention here, right, is <clears throat> this butter has an extremely wide open natural. Okay, so this is the smallest part. And as soon as you get past there, Near the command center, it gets so incredibly wide. Look at that. That's the range where you can send Zerglings. If you get past this part, right? And this one, this spot doesn't have a good wall here. So just throwing this out there, that uh, there is the possibility that Fengji can go Speedlings and actually deal a lot of damage with them. It's It can be a tricky thing to deal with. Now, Bishop has gone Gas very very quickly we don't see an engineering bay so he's actually going to be going factory so this looks like it'll be a valkyrie rush uh which of course there's nothing wrong with a valkyrie rush you can do it with this type of timing but we are going to need to see out of him like pretty consistent marines if he wants to make sure that he doesn't just randomly dive zerglings at some point now an scv coming in for a scout to uh the main base here of fengji He's going to see still drones being made. Not that many lings out, so it doesn't have to be too afraid at the moment. Zergling speed is on the way, though. And if you catch this... Ooh, ooh, ooh. He really wants to catch this. If you catch this, there is a possibility to just turn on the Zerglings. I really want to see if Fengji's going to do that. It's it's more and more likely... Like, if you kill the SCV quickly, it's a much more likely thing to occur. Okay, he kills it, but that was a bit late. You know, if you killed it, like, when these first these things first came back, maybe you have that opportunity. <laughs> but here, yeah, I think it's probably a good choice for him to continue to drone up. Doesn't have too, too many Zerglings, uh, and but does have a very good economy as far as his drones go. Spire on the way, Senka Gas coming up. Nice depot being made. He's trying to make this a thinner area, less options for Speedlings to get in. And he does switch this around. This is a smart move. <laughs> you want the SCV on this side so it can repair the bunker as opposed to this side. Starport coming up. He'll start his armory here in a moment. Yeah, there's the armory. Oh! Okay. So this move, this is something you do. Okay, there's two things that you can do with this. 
One is an all-in based off of Spire, right? You could do that either pure Mutalisks or you go into Guardians. Uh, the other thing you can do is a quicker switch into Lurkers where you make the Hydralisk Den here and just very quickly get the Lurkers to the front. Now, the reason why you would do something like that in this position, this is like the last place you'll scout as Terran because it's so close by that it's kind of dumb to take, <laughs> right? It's not the greatest location. It makes more sense to make something on your side. Travel distance is longer. Whereas if, you know, if this was like a two racks academy, he could literally just walk up here and kill this. Now that's not that build, uh, but yeah, I'm just, you know, that's gonna be something that's very hard to scout. Now, the Hydralis Den is coming up extremely fast. Three Mutas flying across the map. He is making four Scourge as well. So it is going to be Quick Lurker. It is going to be Quick Lurker. Uh, of course, the Hydralis Den is in a location where you can definitely scan it and figure it out very quickly. And we'll see where the Valkyrie flies to. I mean, he's making enough Scourge that... Oh my god, look at this. He goes double bunker. Oh my god, this is so weird. Wow. Okay. This is not something I'm used to seeing, guys. Like, I I think he feels like it's very likely going to be some sort of all-in. Now, the Mutas, he didn't overmake them, right? Like, the Mutas are just here to force defense. So, like, for instance, we're getting two Valkyries. Look at this. Four. Well, he actually kills off that turret because it was inhibiting mining. But he's already made seven turrets, right? You don't need turrets against three Mutas. This is actually going to be like a very quick Lurker uh, attempted bust, but he's actually going Queen's Nest as well. So what he might do is run up, see if there's damage to be dealt with two bunkers. There might not be. And then go directly into Defiler, right? And if you can get a Dark Swarm in your opponent's natural, great position to be in. Look at this. Two more barracks being made, and he's getting a Vulture here. So Micah into Mines. It is plus one air attacks again. It really feels this time like Fengji has gotten the high end as far as uh, the mind games go, right? Like you're putting so much money into anti-air here and that is absolutely what, not what is occurring. Uh, you know, there's not gonna be any vessels for irradiate. He's gonna have mines, so that's, that's definitely good if you can get those mines set up. Okay, a couple lurkers have more. Okay, I think he may have just accidentally attacked attacked his uh, Scourge onto his Scourge or something. That was very weird. Anyways, the Lurkers come up. It looks like he's going to do a containment. Oh, wow. They Honestly, this looks really good for Fengji right now. Uh, it is it is all in, though, just to make it clear, right? Like, look, he's got one drone mining here. Okay, okay drones here, but not even one per patch. Okay drones here, one per patch. Uh, but he's setting up the Lurker Containment. He's getting Hive super, super fast. The thing is, with only one gas and only, like, Marines and, and Vultures here, this is hard to break out of. It looks like he's getting ready to try. All right, some nice micro there. Picks off a couple Scourge. Valkyrie's going hunting. Fourth Lurker. Ooh, it gets harder and harder to break out. A Siege Tank is on the way as well as Siege Mode. Uh, so he will have Siege Mode uh, ready to start pushing these back before Defilers are here. But the thing is, what you do is, if they're Sieged up, you, like, unburrow and just move just barely out of range. And then they have to go up and do it again and again and again. You see Bishop really utilizing his Valks right now. He wants to get some additional damage. He wants to push everything back, start doing supply blocks, things like that. You, I mean, you're trying to utilize these as best you can because they don't have a ton of use right now. Oh, Scourge coming up. He is going to get a couple hits. Oh, my God. He's hit three of them. <laughs> Kills only one after four Scourge connections. Unfortunate for him. But uh, right now we have Consume on the way. The first Defiler being made. I'm sure it's at one of these as well. There it is. And there's another one being made right there. All right, see, scans, he has siege mode. Oh, look at this, he's just moving back the hurt ones. He wants to keep this as close as is humanly possible. Now, Bishop will probably start to lay mines and make fire bats. I think from here you have to know. Yeah, there's the fire bats starting to come out because they hit under Darkstorm. All you have to do is break this one time and you're gonna win the game as Terran. But I don't think he's gonna have enough to break. 
He's got two siege tanks now. Consume almost done. Ooh, you're going to have to pull these back. You're going to have to pull these back. Oh, he's just going to let a few of them die. Okay, so two die during the scan. He's going to have to scan again, and then you can get two more, but Consume is about to finish. He's got uh, food here in the form of Zerglings. Throws down the first Dark Storm. Okay, this is very tough for Bishop. You're going to have to sacrifice pretty much everything you have here to try to keep these Lurkers out of your natural. Now, the Dark Storm is going to go down momentarily. He's laid a few mines. He's got a few fire bats. Kills off the bunker, so he has room to micro here. Tries to send out a vulture. Kind of sees what's coming in. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, my God. Goes... Eh, that's okay. That's good. Okay, he actually killed all the mines with lurker spines. It's a little bit lucky there. Trying to lay more lurker spines. Lurker's still moving forward. Okay, actually does get the kill on that one before it completely burrows. Nice. A lot more lurkers on the way, though. Oh, man. Once he gets his burrowed up right next to it, he's going to have to unsiege his tanks at that point. Look at that. The lurker's doing a fantastic job right now. One tank going to end up falling. A lot of marines falling as well. Going to be able to get this secondary tank. There are more tanks further back. Bishop's not 100% dead yet, but this is looking bad. There, There is a world in which he's some... Oh, God, I don't know anymore. Like, if everything starts running into mines and stuff, maybe... Yeah, the mine's not really doing that well. Gets up, gets that Dark Swarm down once again. He's going to be able to snipe another Siege Tank here. This is going to have to lift off. He's going to lose one of his scanners there as well. It's going to give him one scan total to try to clear this with. He's got a drop that came out. So trying to come in from the side, maybe pick off some of the Defilers or something. Wow, just can't kill very much. Muta's come in to fight as well. The Siege Tank running back, setting up in his one base. There is still a chance. There is a small chance here for Bishop. <laughs> He's really made it a very, a very difficult place to break into. It might be time to stop the push and just play containment uh, and get into a bigger economy. Right now, the Valkyrie's doing amazing work. Oh my God, the Scourge get picked off by those very red Marines. He's going to be able to kill this base. Look at this, more Dark Storms going down, but there are mines going back for days at this point. Seed Shanks spread out. He's picked off a lot of the Defilers. There's even a Wraith in here to kind of keep an eye on everything. Trying to run a Vulture Pass to lay some more mines, but there's so many Lurkers right now. The Fire Bats may be ready to try to snipe some of the lower health ones. Ooh, too bad. It, you know, he unseaged the tanks and he took that opportunity to unseage and, or to unburrow and run back very, very purposefully. Uh, if you unburrow the Hurt Lurkers, they'll just die instantly, because then they'll take that splash damage. So a lot of Fire Bats have been made. Bishop going to try to break out of here. Oh, man. He tries to run five Vultures out. Is anything... Oh, he gets one of the Defilers! Really well done. The mine gets laid, which will also kill off a, a single Hydra. What a tough situation. He actually did not end up killing this hatchery, by the way. Looking back at the home base, Plague even being made. I've almost never seen Plague in a position like this. Really interesting to see. A lot of Lurkers have been picked off. Still can't mine from his natural. Still on one gas. Lifting up whatever he can. He's on... Dude, he has one base economy. He's producing five facts, three racks, just whatever he can at the moment. Trying to ferry things out to slow the incoming push. Because he can't slow it with just tanks. Like, he needs units out here trying to snipe things, try to slow things down. Going out with this three vulture drop. A three vulture drop in that main base looks very juicy right now. Okay, Muta's popping out, so maybe less so. <laughs> oh, the Muta's fly by the dropship. Turn around. Looks like they've seen it. Three vultures, of course, can one-shot drones. Very, very cleanly. In fact, he has plus one, so he can do it anyways. Ooh, very red vultures right now. Look at that. Gets like four more drones than he should have. Oh my God. Very good micro once again from Bishop, who is trying once again to break out.
Dark Swarm stay uh, alive here. Ah, uh, he catches the uh, Defiler. Of course, if you put the Defiler into the Dark Swarm, the tanks can target it down. So he was trying to run it out here, and then you run the Vultures Pass to snipe it. Very good move. But now the switch into Mutas. We have two Valkyries remaining. Ooh, yeah, he is going to have to back up. They have plus one attack, but the plus one on the Valkyrie is so much better here. Muta's going to have a terrible time fighting against these. And Bishop is, dude, he's actually, he's actually doing it. He is actually doing it right now. Look at this. Gets the weirdest drop off. A Goliath, two fire bats, two Marines, and two medics. Okay. <laughs> Just dropping anything he can, using vultures to kill off the lurker defending here and hit the hatchery. He's pushed out of his own natural. Oh my God. Is if Bishop goes and wins this game for the 9-0, this is the most impressive game that we've seen so far, perhaps. What a terrible position he's in. And to fight back like this, the vultures might end up killing it. Yeah, they are. The vultures kill the hatchery. Somehow, some way. Firebat Valkyrie Siege Tanks. It's like the guys in the chat came up with this. My God. What does Fengji have left? He's redroning a little bit. You know, all of his tech is in his main base, at least. So that's something. He's got about three minutes of gas left here. And now he's playing against a bishop who has been starved for resources. Bishop basically still on one base. We're going to feel very good having that fresh location. Picking off a couple more units. Oh, no. And the mines are here as well. Oh, my God. The mine gets three hydras. I, at this point, we have to say it. Bishop has a big advantage. Like, this looks fantastic for him at this point. He's got four plus one Valkyries, so air units are not an issue. He's no longer going to be pushed in by Dark Swarm. He's got five factory mech going against a two base Zerg. Like, you can just produce, like... I mean, at this point, Vulture, Vulture Valkyrie wins. Just units with V, you know? It's... It's kind of crazy. Uh, the Scourge actually doing a pretty good job here, though. Picks off two. Very nice dodge in there. Oh, my God. He actually swept through on those Valkyries, through the, the Cloud of Scourge, uh, and comes out the other side with both of them. What does Fengji have? What is what is the next play? Oh, it's lose all your drones. Well, I tell you what, this, I think this is about the end, guys. A, it, like, this is way too much damage. GG, Bishop goes 9-0 to zero against Fangji.